So upon me as truth is wisdom, that I may be worthy of conveying his message, and so sanctify his name, inshallah, bring peace to the, peace to the world, and uh, assalamu alaikum, greetings to everybody. It's, yeah, it's really an honor and a privilege. It's an honor and a privilege to be invited. Uh, this organization, uh, I was affiliated with, um, I think maybe from the beginning, or almost from the beginning, many, many, many years ago, thank God, and God thank, bless me that I'm alive today, that I could continue doing His will, I thank God. Um, it's, Al Alda is the right of return. This, uh, this issue of the right of return is exactly the word, the right, that it's right. There is, we consider like what people call human rights, we call godliness. The concept of uh, occupying another people is really uh, contradictory to my religion of Judaism. It is contradictory to everything that is godly. The, unfortunately, the movement that was created, a totally political movement called Zionism, that was created solely uh, to, to fulfill the whims and the wants of individuals, later a large group of individuals, this has nothing, absolutely nothing, that is kosher, nothing to do that is halal or something acceptable. By the, in, in the Jewish religion. This movement, in fact, really was born out of uh, people who, to the vast majority, were, uh, came from a family that, families that were, were estranged from Judaism entirely. There is all the movements that started a hundred years prior to that, that uh, redefined uh, what, what it means to be a Jew, and that they tried to establish and also to legitimize the movements that call Judaism anything, and you don't have to be uh, subservient to God and hold, uh, hold the words of the Torah. But that is not Judaism. We have a Judaism that is 3,000 years, that we made a covenant with God at Mount Sinai, and that throughout the generations, my grandparents going way back, and all, uh, many, many of our families gave their lives for, as well known and recorded in history, whether it was by the Crusades, the Inquisition, where they were, where they were burnt at the stake, and they, simply because they refused to re relinquish their subservience to the Almighty and our covenant to God. Just recently, World War II, when the Nazis um, took over, they also, had one thing in mind and they wanted to totally obliterate the Jewish people and my grandparents and my many of the vast majority of my relatives died because they were Jewish and there were many of us who had the opportunity to go to Christian convents and the children there and they refused because they said our soul is what we live for and that is to be close to God. If they're going to die, these parents and their children will stop being religious, being Jewish because they won't know of their Judaism, then what is their lives about? So we have one thing and one thing only. Judaism is, an, is a uh, subservience to God and the covenant that we made. This covenant stated that after the destruction of the temple, we were put under oath by God not not to have any Jewish sovereignty, even if it would not affect others, even in an uninhabited land. But on top of that, the, re the Zionists, they didn't care. They were, they were, as I say, totally estranged from Judaism. Now, they had, a, the, in order to accomplish what they wanted, they decided to take Palestine. They were thinking of Uganda, Patagonia, anything that's practical, because they wanted a national home. They weren't interested in anything to do with God. They simply decided that Palestine is a ter terrific uh, a place to made to establish their country, their homeland, because they be they'll be able to wave the Bible and show it as a deed, as a document that's telling the world, let's say the Christians, who the evangelistic Christians and many who believe that the Jewish people were given the land by God, and therefore they have a deed and a right to the land. So they will use 
this Judaism, this deed, and they're going to be able to gain the support from around the world. And of course, from many Jews who don't know their, their uh, Jewish uh, laws and their, any knowledge of the, what Judaism is. That is how, why they decided, and being that they, they weren't fearful of God, they didn't care that they're stealing my license, they're stealing my identity, they're stealing our identity, and an identity that my grandparents died in Auschwitz for, that we gave our lives throughout the generations. They really don't care, because they don't have that godly fear of, of doing a criminal act. So they use this Judaism, and they, uh, they used the, this facade of Judaism, and they took the Star of David, they took the name Israel, and they decided that they're going to go around, trapes around the world, they're going to make a, a, a rabbinate and chief rabbis who have nothing to do with, it's only, it's a, they're masquerading, they're clowns. There is, a, there is a Jewish populace living in Palestine, in occupied Palestine, there's Jews around the world, and, and who are, as you have right across from Manhattan, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, there's not one single Israeli fled, and that is because you will see it is a very religious community where it costs us fortunes to dress, to cost us fortunes because we have private schooling, we have large families, we give our lives for our religion, and because of that, you won't find an Israeli flag. Because we are Jews, we are together with our elder. Because we are Jews, we say there is a right of return. Because we are Jews, we will continue, inshallah, with God's help, as long as we have a breath in us, that we will never relinquish our identity to this Zionism, which is a transformation from religion, subservience to God, to nationalism, built on, on an unacceptable, flawed political uh, uh, gains. This is nothing, it's unacceptable, it will never be acceptable, but not only by the Green Line or whatever they want to make these compromises, it will never be acceptable one inch of stealing the Palestinian lands. I just want, and I have, I'm finishing with this, there, we have to also remember, Judaism has another issue. We have an issue of showing gratitude. If good was done to us and we teach our children, what, and, and, and I always, and very shortly, Moses, was, when he gave the ten plagues to Paro, he wasn't allowed to do the first, uh, he said he took God, he's not going to smite the water that it should turn to blood, because he was hid in the basket, in the water. And how could he repay bad for good? Do, Jews, we teach this to our children. The pa Muslim countries and the Palestinian people always embraced us and gave us a safe haven. And we always ha are most grateful and we are required to show this gratefulness and we teach our children this. How dare the Zionists take our religion and claim that it is a religious conflict that the Palestinians and the Muslims hate the Jews and this is a religious conflict. This is unacceptable, this is abhorrent and that is why we are here and we will continue to be here with God's help until God with his compassion brings a free Palestine soon in our days. Inshallah, assalamu alaikum. Thank you.